Hi, I'm Brett Elliott, and you're watching Atmex Answers. On today's segment, we're going to talk about Silver Eagles and Philharmonics. We're going to give you a detailed comparison on the two of them. You're going to find out what the similarities are, what the differences are, and why you might choose one over the other. And we'll also talk about why this question has become so important in 2023. Price on American Silver Eagles has really reached kind of an all-time high. We're looking at about $13 to $15 premium over spot, and this has been going on since kind of the start of the pandemic. And we talk a little bit more detail about what we're expecting for the near-term future to be in another video uh, titled, you know, Silver Eagles vs. Buffaloes. And we're going to drop a link to that video down in the description so you can learn a little bit more about the issue with silver blanks and the U.S. Mint supply. But we're not going to get into that same stuff here. Um, what we're going to really focus on is just the comparison between the Philharmonics and the Silver Eagles. And at first glance, these are very different coins uh, for a few different reasons, but they do have some similarities. I mean, they're both one troy ounce. Whether you buy an eagle or you buy a philharmonic, it's an ounce of silver. It has its natural ability to hedge against inflation, act as a store of value. So nothing is different there. One's produced by the Austrian mint, Austrian, not Australian, and the other's produced by the U.S. mint. There are some interesting design differences, and there's some interesting differences in terms of, uh, in terms of things like face value, history. But again, there's a lot of similarities between these. In fact, both of these can actually be included in a precious metals IRA. So some bullion coins are excluded, but the Philharmonic, the Austrian Philharmonic, can be included. So. Uh, if that's important to you, that's a, that's a feature you might be looking for. That's something you can have with the Philharmonic. Now, Silver Eagle, um, on the reverse, obviously has the, uh, the very patriotic theme, the, the bald eagle that's uh, flying with the uh, branch in its talons. And then, of course, of course, we have Standing Liberty. And then the slightly less well-known Austrian Philharmonic. Now, this one's tripped me up. For a few reasons. Normally the obverse and the reverse is really easy uh, to discern, but on the Philharmonic that's not the case because we don't have a very obvious obverse and reverse, but this is the obverse and <laughs> I, I gotta tell you guys, until I saw this in person and I, and I did some research on it, I thought this was a building. Um, I got so used to seeing the Lincoln Memorial and the Lincoln Cent. This is actually a pipe organ. And then, of course, on the other side, we have the, uh, the actual instruments that are in the Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, just a fun, neat bit of trivia, but Philharmonic actually means loosely translated to uh, love of harmony, um, which is a really great description for the way an orchestra or a symphony comes together um, and kind of harmonizes. So uh, you have on the instruments on here, we've got four violins with a cello in the center, a harp in the background. I believe that's the Vienna horn. And towards the back is a bassoon. So really neat design. Um, something that's a little bit more unique about this coin compared to other bullion coins is actually on the edges. You'll notice there are no reeds on the edges. It's completely flat. Now some people love that. Personally, I really like having the reeds on the edges. I'm maybe a little bit of a traditionalist. Um, I think it helps with grip, but there's also a slight difference in the dimensions. Now again, they're both one troy ounce, but the Austrian Philar uh, Philharmonic is slightly thicker and slightly smaller in diameter than the American Silver Eagle. There's also a difference in the face value, $1 versus 1.5 euros. And it's actually the only bullion coin out there that's denominated in euros. So kind of neat. This is a very unique coin. And that's something that I, I keep coming back to is if you're, if you're really looking for something that's kind of unique, 
maybe isn't as popularly uh, collected as some of the other uh, bullion coins, you know, it might be worth taking a look at the Philharmonic. Um, it's, it's got a lot of character to it. It's got some rich history behind it. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful coin. As I uh, hold it here, it's got a kind of uniform finish with a bright luster. And it's a, just a gorgeous coin. Now, prices for this are in line with many of the other bullion coins out there. This is, sure, not as popular as, say, a Britannia or a Maple, but it's still very well known. Widely available, easy to acquire, easy to sell. Things that are important in case you have a lot of money locked up in your silver. And when I say that prices are largely in line with other bullion coins, we're really seeing somewhere around $6, $7 over spot uh, for an Austrian Philharmonic at this time. Now, again, Silver Eagle is coming in $13 to $15 over spot. And the Philharmonics do go on sale from time to time. So you can get them even lower. The Silver Eagles go on sale less frequently. And generally speaking, it still tends to be $10 or more over spot, even when they are on sale. So if you are looking, if you are a deal shopper, um, you'll have better luck with the Philharmonic as well. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with a friend.